In this experiment, we investigate the two ingredients that cause weather in Earth's atmosphere, rotation and differential heating. We have our rotating tank set to a fast rotation rate of about 10 RPM to represent the mid-latitudes. After letting the tank spin up to solid body rotation, we add ice to the center of the tank. We add some water to help the ice conduct and make sure there's no air pockets between the ice cube and so the whole metal cylinder becomes cold. And this cools the water next to the metal cylinder. And so the water in the center of the tank is colder than the water at the edges of the tank. After some time in letting that temperature gradient develop, we insert some color dye to visualize the flow. In this experiment, the cold water at the center of the tank near the axis of rotation is analogous to the cold air in the, near the pole, whereas at the edge of the tank, the warmer water represents the warm air near the equator. Here in our top view from our co-rotating camera, we see that the color dye we have inserted, where we put blue dye for the cold water near the center and red for the warm water near the edge, have started to move in some spiraling patterns. The red warm dye is moving towards the cold center of the tank and the blue cold dye is moving towards the edge of the tank. And so the motions that are generated here are trying to mix across the temperature gradient and are acting to transport heat from the warm to the cold. If we take a look at the side view, we see that these spiraling patterns are such where the water is kind of moving as a coherent column all together rather than mixing in all sorts of different di directions. If we wait some time to let the pattern develop, we get to this point here, where now we have this pattern of turbulent motions in which our warm red dyed water has been mixing with our cold blue dye water to form these spiraling eddies. And these eddies are the same type of phenomena as the weather systems we have in the mid-latitudes on Earth. Those weather systems also act to transport energy and heat from the warm tropics towards the cold, cold poles and mix across that gradient. Again, here we're looking down on the center of the tank, which would be as if we were looking down on the North Pole. And so the evolution that we've seen in this experiment is called baroclinic instability. These spiraling eddies that are transporting heat are generated by a baroclinic instability that exists because the tank and the earth are rotating and there is a temperature gradient. And so those are our two ingredients for creating weather in Earth's atmosphere, temperature gradients or differential heating and rotation. The experiment in this rotating tank is analogous to a classical theoretical model for baroclinic instability called the ED model, in which in the ED model, we have a temperature gradient on two surfaces, the surface of the earth and the tropopause. And so here in the tank, that would be the bottom of the tank and the top of the water. Those temperature gradients act like potential vorticity gradients. And so they allow what are called ED edge waves to, to live on them and propagate, and propagate like Rosby waves. And those Rosby waves give us our, our, our weather systems. When those two waves on the top and bottom boundary are um, in the right configuration they, and propagating in opposite directions, they can phase lock with each other and then mutually amplify, causing um, growth of, of disturbances and an instability. And that gives rise to the weather systems on Earth, as well as these spiraling eddies here in our tank experiment. And we can actually count how many eddies we have. And um, that would give us a typical wavelength for the eddies, which we could then match this to the theoretical prediction for what the most unstable wavelength is or the fastest growing 
wavelength of instability would be. So here it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight or so eddies or so, and that has number has remained you know pretty stable throughout this experiment. We can see the paper dot that's moving around in spiral patterns within each of the eddies, but the eddies themselves are um, somewhat stationary. And so this was our experiment demonstrating weather in a tank. Um, again, representing the process of baroclinic instability where rotation and temperature gradients lead to the development of Rossby waves and unstable growth in weather systems. Now, if we turn off the rotation, we can see the, the tank quickly spin down, which is always fun to watch.